been a three, two, for me, a two year journey. Um, but in overall, just about the project's been like a four year, you know, experiment that kind of comes to fruition. And hopefully, and soon it'll be out for the world to see. What inspired you to collaborate with Chris on this project? Um, it was just the idea that, you know, something like this. I never, I always started a dream about traveling the country and learning about music and learning about the history of music just from my own experience, but going in the idea of creating a new song and creating an anthem was exciting and, you know, a little scary at first, I'm just thinking about how big the idea, the task could be for doing that, but overall it was uh, something that I was excited about and wanted to give it a try. As a producer, how are you inspired by the different, diverse, you know, musical varieties in America? What what were some of the outlets that you took from your producing background, bodies that you brought to the song? I mean, to be honest, with just listening. Uh, I think that's one thing as a producer, you, your role is to listen and to capture moments. And I think just hearing people's stories um, from across the country was uh, very exciting to me because it was different from what I had grown up in and my own experiences. So overall, it was just a really dope, insightful thing just to hear the stories and voices that where people were coming from and just to be able to capture it and you know, present it to people. <laughs> question for you, in your opinion, what do you think, uh, how do you think music has the power to bridge divides between different groups of people? I think music is the one thing that we all love, um, as in all of the world, and I think in overall, I think it's we have people that have the intention to um, relate to someone and have, uh, you know, a hymn or a song or any idea or melody that people can also belong to. I think it just you know, it makes it easier to hear and understand people's experiences. And that was something that, that always kept me intrigued about doing music and, and keep the spark because I think you can always find music is the one thing that we all know how to dance, we all know how to move, we all know how to like, feel something. So. Thank you. Congratulations. How are you today? I want to start good. there. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How does this moment feel? Do you finally be done with the project and be premiering it today for the first time? Yeah, it feels pretty exciting. I think um, it's been a long process. I was talking to Pete about the fact that he came to me with this over four years ago, and so to now see it come to fruition and be here is really special. Yeah. What would you say uh, motivated you to embark on this journey in the first place? For me, curiosity. Like I'm always trying to learn. I'm always curious about how I can learn more about music, especially music in this country and different cultures. And so for me, the idea of exploring the sound of this country and the music from this country is the thing that made me most excited about it. Yeah, and as a composer, how do you, how do you go about capturing the sound of America and really capturing that diversity and the vastness of it all? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely an impossible task when you think about just how diverse, you know, the hundreds of millions of people are that live here. I think what we tried to do is just soak up each culture when we're there, ask as many questions as possible. Like, I'm not talking very much in the documentary, I'm mostly asking people questions so I can just learn as much as possible. And then just hopefully soak up whatever we can as a sponge and involve other people as well to kind of help bring authenticity to what we're saying. And then, um, you know, just kind of see what comes out of it. What challenges would you say you face that stand out the most to you right now at the top of your head? One, getting out of my own way, just making sure that I'm not thinking too much about the, the challenge of this or any sort of anxieties that might come up from how you know, huge of a task this could seem on the outside. And so for me, it was about trying to um, put that aside to just focus on like, whatever's happening in the moment and be present, essentially. Um, and then just you know facilitating an environment where people from different backgrounds and disparate viewpoints can feel like they can coexist and, and you know create something together and that wasn't necessarily that much of a challenge because we invited people that i think also had an open mind but uh, that was something else that i wanted to make sure we really took the time to, to do a whole space for yeah. my last question for you is what would you say you learned by yourself and how did you grow as an artist while working on this film yeah, I think like I'm more open to bigger challenges than I expected. You know, I think going into this, I maybe underestimated uh, just how difficult of a task it might have been. And and in the middle of the process, I had feelings of like, what, what did I get myself into? Like, what am I doing this essentially? And I think getting through that and feeling like, you know, I can just focus on the process and, and you know trust the people around me and, and all of that. I think really was a big learning experience.
Story, um, throughout the filming process. You know, I'm not. I'm not really a musician. So I'm, I'm a filmmaker. I've always wanted to, you know, make um, a music documentary. But I, became, I was intimately connected to the creation of the song, and sort of being in this intimate space and seeing these really gifted writers, you know, producer talking, Chris Bowers collaborating and seeing the song you know, come alive was a very unique experience for me. I have never experienced as a filmmaker and really um, thrilling as a storyteller to see it connect back to the themes that, that I imagined at the beginning of the project. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me and congratulations on finishing the project. Thank you so much.